Hi everyone, thank you so much for your time. If this is the first time you are visiting this channel, my name is Darlene Fee. We want to humbly appeal to you to please subscribe to this channel so that you will be able to get notification from a lot of the exciting topics we are dealing with. Today, we want to learn how to use the scientific calculator to solve questions involving limit functions. Okay, so, so now let's solve the first question. Evaluate the limit of s cubed minus 1 all over s minus 1. Now remember, this expression is a fraction. So we are going to enter this expression on the calculator without the limit. So let's enter this. Because we are dealing with a fraction, first click the fraction button. And then we have s cubed, so alpha x cubed minus 1. We go down, and then we have x alpha x minus 1. Okay, so after entering the expression, the next thing to do is to press the calc button. So you press on calc. The calculator will ask you what value of x do you want to use. Now, the limit given to us is x is approaching 1. That means x is not 1. It's a number close to 1. So if you use 1, you will get an error on the calculator. For purposes of education, let's try 1. So when we hit 1, what do we get? We are getting an error. Why? Because x is approaching 1, but x is not equal to 1. So let's go back and edit our work. Now, to get the answer for this, you press calc, and then you are going to enter a number close to 1. That number can be from the left-hand side, or it can be from the right-hand side. Now, let's see. A number from the left-hand side of 1, a number close to 1. So, we can have 0 0.999999. So, look at this. This is a number close to 1, but it's not 1. So what do we get for our answer? 3. So it means when we use a number close to 1, we are going to get 3. So from this, 3 is the answer. If you are still not convinced and you want to use a number from the right-hand side, so right-hand side meaning a number close to 1, let's press the calc, and then we can have, let's say, 1.00000. And you can see that this is a number close to 1, but it's not 1. So let's click the equal sign button. We are still getting 3. So if you have found the limit of x close to 1, that means the possible answer here is option C. The next question, evaluate the limit of x squared minus 7x plus 10 all over x squared minus 4. And the limit is as x is approaching 2. So we enter the expression. So we have the fraction button, um, x squared, and then minus 7x, so 7 alpha x, and then plus 10, so plus 10. We are done with the top. Let's go down. The down one is x squared, so alpha x, alpha x, we square it, and then minus 4. All right. So after entering the expression, you press the calc button. We are looking for a number close to 2. So close to 2 can be 1.9999999. So you see, this is from the left-hand side. A number close to 2 is this. So you click on the equal sign button, and you are getting negative 3 over 4. So from the possible answers, the right answer is option C. Now let's go to the next one. Once again, we are to evaluate the limit of 9 minus x squared all over x minus the root of x squared plus 7. So we enter this expression on the calculator. Once again, this is a fraction. So you click the fraction button, and then on top of it, we have 9 minus x squared. So alpha x, we square it up. And then we go down with the Kesa. We have 4 minus, then you bring the root sign. We are having x squared, so alpha x. We square it up plus 7, so plus 7. 
Okay, now that we are done with our expression, you only press the calc button. What value of x are we using? The question says the value of x is close to 3. So it is not 3, but a number close to 3. So we can use 2.9999999. Obviously, this number here is close to 3. Then you hit the equal sign button and you are getting 7.999. So if you go through the possible answers, the one closer to this obviously is going to be 8. If you are not convinced, you can still use a number from the right hand side. So let's still press the calc. Since we are not convinced, we want a number from the right close to 3. And that can be 3.000001. Okay, so we can use this. This one too is close to 3, but it's not 3. You press the equal sign button and we are getting this. So let's now hit it up and you can see that it is 8. So the third question, the correct answer is option E. Now let's go to the final question in this presentation. We are to find the limit of bracket open x plus 3. So basically we are to type this expression on the calculator without the limit. So we are done with the fraction. Please type it exactly the way you say it on the calculator. So I open my brackets. So let's bring the fraction key first. And then you open the bracket for the top. We have x plus 3. And then you close the bracket. Very important. Don't forget. Then you open the next bracket. We have 2. So 2 alpha x minus 1. The bracket 2 must be closed. A very important. Please, whenever you enter any data, because we are doing this for examination purposes, always cross-check to be sure that you have done the right thing. Okay, so we now move down. And the down one, we are having x squared. So x alpha x should be squared. Plus 3x. So plus 3. And then alpha x comes. And then we have minus 2. So minus 2. Then you, after you are done entering the data, you press the calc button. And you are being asked, what value of x do you want to use? Now the question says the x is approaching negative 1. That means it is not negative 1, but a number close to negative 1. So for example, a number close to negative 1, we can have negative 1.000. Okay, so with all the zeros, 0.1. Now this number is not negative 1, but it's a number very close to negative 1. Then let's click the answer and see what we get. We are getting 1.5. And obviously 1.5 um, from the answers we have here. The number 1.5 is close to the answer B. Okay, if you're not convinced, 1.5, okay, is equal to, then you change it to, um, so we are getting 3 over 2. Okay, so this is the end of this presentation, and we are moving on, and I hope that you have subscribed. Thank you so much for your time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.